All right, what is going on, guys, scouts, non-binary pals? Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. I know I am. And let's jump right on back into it. We are doing the last bit of our main story today. Well, a chunk of it at least. <laughs> so yeah, yay! We are basically we are I mean like I mean technically we are done. We're done with everything. We literally just have one more area to pop into, and then we're finished. And then we get to do Trespasser. But all right, let's summon the War Council. All right, let's get going. Let's get going. Here we are. What pride had wrought. Let's go, y'all. Quick. Uh, the Inquisition is now a force to be reckoned with. Call its allies to rally their soldiers and march with Inquisitor Lavellan's army to, uh, to the Arbor Wilds, where they will face Corypheus's zealots one final time. Uh, the Inquisition must stop Corypheus before the Darkspawn Magister finds a long-lost elven artifact in the wilds that allows him to enter the Fade physically and claim its power. Recommended levels are 16 to 19. Good thing I am, like, max level. Let's go. <laughs> With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work, if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. I mean, I mean, that's another reason to stop him. I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers, you'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You work as a team. You overcome it. All three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Neliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> <clears throat> Such confidence, but the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here, although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? I'm proud of everybody. The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or the Silluvian. All right, woo! Let's go, confirm. Whoosh, we're going in. All right, into the Arbor Wilds. Black Ball, Cassandra, Cole. Ooh, Cole, confirm. Let's go. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs>
Ah, to battle. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Hold nothing back, Captain. Make the monsters pay, Captain. Leave none standing. Yeah. We shall not flinch, Your Worship. Not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? I mean, I'm not the mayor. They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the maker. True, you are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable, but I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. So, I will say the one thing. And most likely, if I can skip it, I'm going to skip it, uh, is the fact that for this quest in particular, if I think, if I'm thinking correctly, uh, even though my character is a Dalish elf, the game does not... Listen to how close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs. The game does not do a very good job of of recognizing that. Oh, hey, your character's Dalish. They would know exactly who Mithal is, and probably a lot of lore about Mithal. So yeah, the game the game pretty much basically makes it act like you're not playing a Dalish elf and are in fact playing like another race entirely. There's a mod that you can install if you're on PC to get it to work. I couldn't get it to work. Because it does not work with the, uh, the mod manager I'm using. Because there's two different types of mods in Dragon Age. So, yeah. I sadly couldn't get it to work. 
so I'm really hoping that it's just like, oh, any of these things where it's like, oh, who's Mythal? I'm hoping I can just skip right over them because my character would know who Mythal is. Yeah. Okay, I see another Red Templar. I don't think I'm gonna loot just because there's really no reason for me to loot. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go and just kill things. So, yeah, we're just going. I Those were Grey Wardens. They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. Poor bastards. Corypheus has them dying by the dozen. Yeah, I'm not gonna loot just because I'm trying to... get there as fast as I can so that we can start start this Okay, which direction do we go? Is it this way? For Haven and the Divine. Yes. Okay, it's this way. Um I think it's up here. There ahead, an entire camp of red templars. Look here. They've got archers on the wall. That's fine, they haven't noticed us yet. Never mind, Morgan hit one of them. <laughs> Never mind, they've noticed us now. Yeah, if I was... I don't want to say the appropriate level. But if I'd done this, like... They're not elves, though, Cole. I'm so confused. What? Who were those elves? They didn't look Dalish. Oh. They're no friends to the Templars, that's for sure. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. Uh, fold a note, I will read this. Uh, Captain Lowen, I don't want, uh, I don't want crumbling in the lower ranks that our lord, oh, crumbling in the lower ranks that our lord Corypheus handicapped Grey Wardens to be part of his, uh, his honor guard over his Templars. Uh, our charge is not to understand his will, it is only to obey it. Besides, our master still sore, he lost all but a dozen enslaved Grey Wardens to the Inquisitor at Adamant. If your soldiers are smart, they'll keep quiet about it. I didn't even notice there were- I didn't even notice there were elves. All I saw was, uh, was Templars. But, yeah, if- if this wasn't literally our last thing to do, I would probably be looting, like, everything. But this is our last thing to do, and I don't need the money right now. Or the supplies. So I'm just like, eh. Whatever. 
Aha, now I see elves. Hello. Let me jump. But yeah, I wanna... I wanna get going. So we are... Breach the final blockade! Rawr! Are those ours? Yes. Have a blizzard. Is it dead? It's dead. Okay, alright, we still haven't gotten to the final blockade. Okay. But there was. Yeah, there's fighting over here. Or something. Yeah, there's fighting in there. I kind of want to go in there, but at the same time, I'm just like, I kind of don't care, but we're over here. We might as well. Can I whip around and get over there? Ooh, I want to go in there. I mean, you don't have to kill everything. Yes, get the warrior. Totally. Which one, though? There's two. <laughs> Which warrior? Okay, I think there's... Yeah, okay, read. What does this say? Uh, official looking letter uh, to all captains of the Red Templars. We're not stopping to deal with these elven fanatics. Uh, press forward, post more guards, and handle the ambushers as they come. Finding the Temple of Mithal is our first and only task. Once I become the vessel, our master can finally claim the power awaiting for him. No elves, no city, no nation will be a match for a living god. This is a day we'll, we've bled for. The Inquisition and our legions are snapping at our heels, and you've sacrificed more than anyone should ask. But if we fall here, the deaths of your brothers and sisters meant nothing. I won't let that happen. I know more of you will- I know- Oh, I know none of you will either. For the glory of the Elder One, General Samson. Alright, but what was over here? There was like a whole little- Thing. I know we have to go over there, but I'm, I'm, I am gonna, like, sidetrack. I want to see what's over here. What is this? Hello. What is this? Is this anything? Or is this just another spot of just like, hey, we're fighting! Can't see people everywhere. What is this loot? What is this? Okay, so it is it 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 is just another thing of all oh, people that are over here fighting, maybe? Checking. 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 I think this is literally just another thing of, oh yes, people are over here and they're fighting. Checking, checking. Oh! <gasps> Old elven writing. We got a codex unlock. It did not give it to us. So there's that at least over here. So... 
Then something. I mean, it's a codex entry. But all right, let's get it going. Let's continue on. Um, which way do I go, though? I mean, like, there's this up here. And I know, I was all like, oh yeah, we gotta go, and then I'm like, by, like, I'm like, like, getting sidetracked, wandering into looking at things. Okay, that's one of ours. I was like, who is that? I still am like, what's all this over here? I'm just kind of exploring, looking around. There's supply caches? There's supply caches all over the place. But all right, I'm gonna stop getting sidetracked, and we're just gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna bustle. Oof! They died so fast. What is happening here? Hello. What is that? Hello? Hi! I just randomly... yeah. Okay. Whatever! <laughs> but alright, let's get going. Cause I wanna- I wanna at least get to the temple. Yeah, here we go. Enter the temple of Mathal. We are super close. Hello, that is a big chunk of y'all. It's okay, Colin. They're all just gonna like explode here in like a hot second. Yeah, explosions everywhere. Pew 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 pew. Pop. All right, now let's go. Let's go get into the temple. I do love the Arbor Wilds. It's so pretty. All right, here we go. There. That must be the Temple of Mithal. I hear fighting ahead. I also hear very angry combat noises. Milana so banale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Mm. 
be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Yum. Disintegration. Yum. Samson looks so grody. And now we're trapped in here forever. <laughs> uh. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. That's not good. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. I suspected. I did not know. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. All right. To know how Corypheus returned to life. Let's we go. Die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. Strike Corypheus down. And he will rise anew. For once, I'm relieved I'm not really a warden. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are... Oh. It appears oh. the temple's magics Rip. are still strong. Ancient Olven. I can't make out much. Here it says Abella Sun, which means the place of sorrow. That must refer to the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivem. Shivemem. It is all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. I mean, it's a start. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Perform a ritual to appease elven gods? Long dead or no, I don't like it. If need be, touch. unless touch. you wish to turn back. Touch. 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 Da-da-da-da. Yeah! Well done. Let us see what awaits. Yeah, let's go. I accidentally stumbled I on see it. The Red Templars have already encountered the Temple's guardians. They hurt themselves for years to get stronger, but they still die so easily. Perhaps we shall fare better. What is that? Okay, let's just loot. My brain's kind of like, meh. Meh. Can I open this? Oh, I can't. Okay. 
But what is over here? Now that we're in here, I'm like, I'm actually going to be like looking around at things. So it's like, what's in here? Probably not going to be looting like crazy, but I am going to be. Statue of Fenharel. The Rebel God. The Dalish use a uh, Harleian to mean traitor to one's skin, but the word does not appear in any elven text before the tower's age. The ancient root word is related to Harleian, or opposition, and Helithin, or noble struggle. The Dalish call Fen Harel a god of deception, but I... Posit? Posit? A far more accurate translation would be God of Rebellion. Uh, what he rebelled against is a story lost in lost to time in Dalish legends. Fen Harel seals away the other deities out of love and trickery. If we understood more ancient elven, we might find earlier versions of the Dread Wolf story, give him a more nuanced motivation beyond spite. Why would this be? Something wrong. It depicts the Dread Wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. I mean, my clan has Fenharel statues. My clan set statues of the Dread Wolf outside our camp. They're meant to frighten harmful spirits. Perhaps. I thought the ancient elves above quaint superstitions. Still, so long as the wolves' jaws cannot close around us, we may pass safely on. And, you know... Like, Solus has, like, you know, like, Solus, because he's the way that he is, he has, like, if you bring him in here, he has a lot to say about, like, the Temple of Mithal and just everything that's going on. I didn't feel like bringing him. He's in timeout. <laughs> Hi, Samson. Hold them off! I'm coming for you! Ooh. This won't stop me. Yeah, this won't stop me at all. It's only going to make me angrier. Them. Come on! Hold a moment. What? What? While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. People are dying outside while we stand here. If we use the tunnel, more of our soldiers can flee. Performing these rituals may mean the difference between reaching the well before Corypheus's minions and not at all. Are you sure? We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? Ooh. There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You don't know anything about it! You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it. Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. 
We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. Of course there's a price. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Follow Samson through the hole or do the rituals? We're gonna... Let's do the rituals just because. Open this door by completing the rituals. Oh. Okay. Um, where are the rituals? Are they just like... Are they... Okay, here we go. Here's one! Yay! Oh boy, I don't know which one this is. Um... <laughs> which one is this? Um... Okay. Like, I have to enter this at, like, a certain angle. Or try to, at least. Don't know if I'll be able to. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one this is. Let me see. What's the one down here? Because there's one below us. What's the one down here? Okay. Like, if I remember correctly, last time I just I went in the hole because I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to do these. Yeah, I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to get this. happens if I jump off. Okay, if I jump off, it starts all over. Okay, let's go to a different one. Let's go to the other side, maybe? Abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. There is no return once we leap after the Templars. I know. Bear with me. I'm trying to find where they all are. Alright. Let's try this one. Let's go down here. I want to look at this one. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Here, here, we this way. Ding, 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 and then this one, and then that one. Okay. Indeed. Boom. Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. Okay. There's that one done. So the one that's up, the one that's like up there, is like holy crap. So I want to go see what this one is over here. Oh, there's mosaics. Oh. Oh, okay. We're going to have to go read that one. Uh, the Mystery of June. Each elven god represents an aspect of their ancient civilization. Each story a metaphor for this aspect. June's is least understood. Descri uh, depictions stretch back to ancient Arlathan, but he appears most seldom of all their deities. Dalish legend says June is a god of crafts and building, but the oldest depictions have none of the tools the Dalish associate with him. Uh, June's role may have changed over time, or simply cannot be understood today, as the elves fell ancient to winter, spared little thought to preserving any Dalish culture not convenient or understood. Okay, let me have a look at this. One. Okay. Oh no. Is this a. Oh, is this a massive one? Oh no. Me thinks that it is. Oh no, this is a big one. Okay. Um. Okay, let me just like, I'm gonna look at it. I wanna look at it. I wanna get a better view of it. Okay. So there's this. Okay, so there's that section, this section. I'm just looking, I'm checking. Okay, so, let me figure out where the heck I am. Um, okay. Alright, I want to start... Let me get off. Okay, I want to start over. Uh, here. Go all the way down to here. Go to here. Go here, go here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Here. Okay, and now I'm gonna stop and wait and I'm gonna look. Okay, and then we go this way. This way. Go down this way. Cut across here. And I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna look again. Okay, we go here and then here, 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 here. Okay, jump across. Come over to here. And then we're gonna go Boink. boink! Boink, 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 boink. Okay.
I think I cut across. Cut across and then go up and then over and then go here. And then go down the stairs. Oh, uh, wait. Nope, wait. Nope, we're fine. Here, 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 here. Boom. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, that was. Ugh. That was a little. <laughs> that was just a tiny bit annoying. Okay, we are gonna go back in here. I'm gonna grab. Oh, this doesn't have one. Okay. Came in here for nothing. But alright. Alright, let's go back up. I want to get a look at. I want to get a proper look at this one. Yeah. Let me get a proper look at it. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna look at it. Oh. Okay. Alright, let me get off. So I can reset it. And now. Okay, so. We are going to go. Here, 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 here. Uh, 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 uh. Da, da, da. Here, pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk! Okay, that lowers that. Now we're gonna go here. Here, here, here. We're gonna go all the way back to here, and I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna look, and then I think we just zigzag our way through this. And then this, and then this, and then this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and we, And then we go, and then I'm gonna stop here, because I'm pretty positive. Okay, we go down, and then we come over here, and then we pull the lever! And we then go, and we touch this one, and then we touch this one, and then this one, and then this one, and ding, 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 we're done. There. Everything is lit. It wants to say something, but I can't hear it. Come, let us see if the doors have opened. We got some disapproval, but whatever! Doesn't matter in the end. Doesn't matter right now. Ooh, mosaic of Andrul. Mosaic of Andrul! Uh, Evan got Andrul. One day Andrul grew tired of hunting mortal men and beasts. She began stalking the forgotten ones. Wicked things that thrive in the abyss, yet even a god should not linger there. And each time she entered the void, Andrul suffered longer and longer periods of madness after returning. Uh, Andrew put on armor made of the void and all forgot her true face. She made weapons of darkness and plague ate her lands. Uh, she howled things meant to be forgotten and the other gods became fearful and Drew would hunt them in turn. So Mithal spread rumors of a monstrous creature and took the form of a great serpent, waiting for Andrew at the base of a mountain. When Andrew came, Mithal sprang on the hunter. They fought for three days and nights. Andrul slashing deep gouges in the serpent's hide, but Mithal's magic sapped Andrul's strength and stole her knowledge of how to find the void. After this, 
The Great Hunter could never make her way back to the Abyss, and peace returned. What's this? I believe we are in the presence of the elven goddess Ondrul, Lady of the Hunt. It is said the Dalish invoke her before a chase, especially if they happen to be stalking humans. No, we don't. My clan avoided human settlements, never mind raiding them. A sound tactic, if one has room to maneuver out of harm's way. Other Dalish clans do not keep so scrupulously hidden. All right. Opens the door. Hello. It is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. I'll say. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You have the features of those who call themselves Elven. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? Uh, there are, there, yeah, they're my enemies. They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. Okay, so you okay, so you're actually ancient elves. So you're elves from ancient times. Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan. The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. Mm, okay, what is the well? What is this Vera Balasan exactly? It is a path. One walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. Uh, do we do the thing? We're gonna do the thing. Yeah, the elves need you. Our people have lost everything. They need you. They could learn from you. Our people? The ones we see in the forest. Shadows wearing Balasleen. You are not my people. And you have invaded our sanctum as readily as the Shemlin. We knew this place was sacred. We respected it as best we could. I believe you. Trespassers you are. But you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. I do not trust them. We know not what they'll do once the battle is over. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. No, we don't. No, we don't. I don't need the well. I personally do not need the well. Let them have their will. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morgan! Welp. Welp, that happened. Okay, bye, ma'am. Can I? 
Can I can I peek through this door real fast? Can I just uh, open this door by completing the rituals? I completed rituals though. What? That makes me sad. I can't get that door open. This would be our guide, Mytholanast. That's Hello. helpful, since Morrigan chased off on her own. She's worried about this well, not Corythius. She turned into a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cole. He's like, what? How did she turn into a bird? Oh, I'm coming. This place looks untouched. The entire temple must have looked like this long ago. How could the elves pour such devotion into this nonsense? Statue of Mithal. Uh, the judgment of Mithal. Whenever one, uh, whenever one, the people wronged another, they would not call on Elgadon to avenge them, for his fury would destroy all it touched. Uh, Mithal saw this bring strife among the people and went to Elganon. She offered to deliver justice when the people warred amongst themselves. Elganon saw her wisdom and agreed, binding all to abide by her verdicts. Some petitioning Mithal for justice hid jealousy, accusing those who had done them no wrong. She saw their lies and struck them down. Other petitioning Mithal for justice burned with wrath in their for imagined slights. She saw their weak hearts and struck them down. Those coming to her with clear minds and open hearts were granted judgment and protection. And Mithal harried their enemies until the end of their days. I'm not going to loot anything while we're in here. Mosaic of Mithal. Click. No! Oh, I can't click on the mosaic. I'm coming. Well, you are... Just, you're just... Okay, you're just continuing on without me. I'm coming. I'm gonna light this just because why would this be in here if not for possible stuff possible things mosaic of elganon okay so we can touch the mosaic of elganon but we can't touch the the one of mythal i see how it is uh elganon wrath and thunder give us glory give us victory over the earth that shakes our cities uh strength the usurpers with your lightning burn the ground under your gaze Bring winged death against those who throw down your work. Elganon, help us tame the land. Not looting anything. I'm coming. She wants us to stay close. Just a quick look around. I'm poking. <laughs> I'm looking at things. Uh, Dirthamen and Fallon Dean are linked to Dalish legend as inseparable twin brothers. Uh, scraps of elven stories from after the fall of Arlathans transcribed into Tevinter and recently lent to our fair university refer to them as twin souls, but draw no family connection. The oldest stories never even name them directly, referring to Falondine as Dirthamin's shadow and Dirthamin as Falondine's reflection. Uh, the little we understand... Uh, we, the little... The little we understand implies their bond was not romantic beyond even the strongest friendship. Uh, the legends of Dirthamen and Felondeen have been an allegory for complex elven relationships we lack context to comprehend. I'm coming. I'm just looking around. Bear with me a minute. I'm poking. I'm looking at things. Uh, the Ascension of Gillahan. Uh, Gillahan kept herself apart from the people. She used her power to create animals none had never seen. The skies teemed with her monsters, the land with her beasts. Andrew killed them all, and after a year of killing, approached Gillahan with an offer. The gods would share their power with Gillahan, but only if she destroyed her creations, for they were too untamed to remain among the people. Gilhan agreed and asked for three days to undo what she had made. Uh, on the first day, she struck down the monsters of the air, except those she presented to Andrew as a gift. Uh, on the second day, she drowned the giants of the sea, except those in deep waters, 
for they were too well wrought, and pride stopped her hand. On the third day she killed the beasts of the land except the Hala, whose grace she loved above all else. This is how Gilahan was made the youngest of the gods. I'm coming, I'm look all unreadable elven writing. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Can be angry with me for why is there how is there a Templar in here? Ooh, wait. Wait, I heard it. Examine. Ancient Elven writing. Can we open this door? Open. Oh, we could venture. We could. We could venture off from the path. I'm not going to, though. Uh, Song to Silicy? Silicy, whose heart rivals Elganon's light. Silicy, whose temples rival Mithal cities. Uh, Silicy, whose breath rivals Andril's spear. Silicy, whose skill rivals June's craft. Silicy, whose fire cannot be quenched. We give ourselves gladly to your service. Where is our... Okay, there you are. You're still here. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just opening doors. Open. Examine. Click. Untranslatable elvish elven writing. I'm coming. I'm right here. But yeah, like you could, like I could easily just be all like, ah, oh, whatever, and you know, wander off. As if I wanted to fight, I don't need to fight, so I'm just the like. Sentinels are holding off the Red Templars. They're dying faster than they wanted to. Vier sumiel. Okay, she's coming. What? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna loot it. We're here. No. Mm -hmm. Open the door. This is- oh! Okay. So we have to open that door. Alright, so. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna- st we're gonna stop here. I'm going to assume that- that that's- No, I don't, I don't know. She keeps. I don't know if that's where we have to go. I'm going to assume that's where we have to go. So I saved, right? Yes, I saved. Okay. All right. We are going to be done. That is where we're going to end this episode. We're going to pick up literally right here. As soon as I can figure out, like, you know, it's like, okay, do I go through this, to like this door? Yada, 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 yada. Blah, 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 blah. But, yes. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're done. I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, leave a like, drop a comment, push that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell for notifications for any time I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys. We are literally almost finished with this. I'm super excited that we're gonna, like, that we're finally getting this done, especially with the fact that Veilguard is coming in, like, a um, month, technically two months time, technically, because it's the end of October is when it's coming. But yeah, I'll see you guys uh, then. Peace, y'all.